Cool. Okay, so welcome to the Discovery Technical Specification Group update. I guess the most significant news, uh, as Josh announced earlier today, is the release of the Discovery Change Discovery Spec 1.0. And today we're not really going to be looking at that, although you might see a little bit of it. We're going to focus on the content state because that's already propped up a few times today. And so we're going to have a look at what that is and what we've been doing on it. So I guess <clears throat> one way of looking at content state is it's how we point at things in IIIF and then how we share the thing we're pointing at with someone else. So the kind of drag and drop example is a, a common scenario. You know, I want to take this manifest from one viewer to another, but to generalize that out, it's, you know, how do I go from a search result to the target of my search result in a manifest or how do I bookmark or cite something? So let's kind of have a look at how this has happened so far, and what a content state is. So the very simplest kind of content state is the URL of a manifest. And that's you know, almost, well, it's hard to think of a, a triple IF viewer that couldn't initialize itself from the URL of a manifest. And that's our kind of baseline, you know, that's our kind of simplest case, that's a content state. This manifest is a piece of content, is part of the triple IF universe. <clears throat> but then it gets a bit more complicated when we wanna say, let's initialize this viewer on a particular page, uh, on, say, on the fourth, the fourth page and focused on this particular part of the canvas. Uh, and you know, a variety of mechanisms have evolved to deal with that. The universal viewer has these hash parameters that you know, identify the canvas index, the manifest index within the collection, uh, the, the zoom coordinates. Now, the trouble with these is they're, they're nice and compact and work really well uh, and update as the UV uh, updates its, its user interface. But they're a bit fragile, uh, and also they're kind of, yeah they're kind of index-based uh, coordinates. So sorry, index-based uh, arguments rather than identifiers for things. Now we've got this thing called the W3C annotation spec and the presentation API model that allow us to talk about IIIF things. So we can use those to point at other parts of IIIF. So here is an annotation. It has the motivation content state to say I'm a pointer. Uh, and its target is a manifest. That's, that's all this is doing. It's just like that manifest link. Well, that's a bit verbose. So why don't we kind of say, well, if, if we're in a scenario where we can assume it's a content state, the body of you know, the target of this annotation is, is fine on its own. So that would just be the manifest. And we could go a step further and say, if we're in that scenario, well, let's assume that if it's just a URL, then that's a valid content state too. Um, so, the point about this is that because we're using the language of the presentation API to point at the presentation API, we can point at anything and express anything that you can express in IIIF. So some examples of this, going back to our original example, are a particular region of a canvas in a particular manifest. So you know, that word on this page of this book, for example, or start playing at this point in a recording, 14 and a half seconds into this canvas, that's a, a presentation three audio canvas. Or Mirador style, I'm looking at these two manifests at once and I want to send you the two manifests together so you can look at them too. An annotation can have multiple targets, therefore a content state can point at multiple things at once. In the search result example, we could encode uh, the content state into a link to open a viewer on our search results. So we found a particular word uh, in a book and, this, and the content state can be used to open the viewer at the right point. Now, there's a problem with what you've just seen. We talked about fragility earlier on. These are just as fragile, in fact, even more fragile because there's chunks of JSON data uh, that we're passing around on our HTTP requests. So what in fact we do is encode them and the spec descri describes how to do that. Encode them in such a way that they can't break uh, in transit so that's one of the things the spec does, as well as providing this annotation with a content state motivation. But the main thing it provides is protocol. It describes a set of mechanisms for moving this state around. So I'm just gonna go into some demos here. These demos were put together earlier by Glenn uh, and I'm gonna try and demo them. So let's start off with the familiar drag and drop and my Zoom UI is getting right in the way of my Um, I think you just uh, got muted. All right. Yeah, my Zoom. You, sorry about that. <laughs> my Zoom UI got in the way and and grabbed the. Uh, 
Right, hang on. Can you still see me? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right, okay. Which no, all right. So right, here we go. So let's try this. So in this scenario, here's something in one viewer, and I'm gonna drag it to another viewer. Bang, that worked. That's a way of, of dragging content state around. Try another one. How about we copy and paste from one viewer to another? So here's our source and here's our destination. Uh, how about we copy or click that? It's on our clipboard. Uh, let's, is that the right one? Uh, no, it's this one. <laughs> let's uh, control V and paste paste the content state in. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, this one here. Uh, I'm not sure this works actually. I think this manifest is broken. So anyway, but what this is supposed to do is open uh, the manifest in these variety of different viewers, uh, which it uh, actually, oh, it does work. Cool, there we go. It's auth protected, so it's not working right now. Uh, and the, uh, let's try this one with download. So I could download a little chunk of data, uh, download it to my uh, downloads directory. And then I could, yeah, this is like, um, you might have sent me this in an email. Uh, you might have sent me this annotation in an email and I upload it and like that, you know, it's kind of very asynchronous way of sharing a content state. And obviously here we're just sharing a manifest, but we could be sharing all sorts of complicated uh, uh, um, state information. Uh, what we're looking at. Uh, another example, let's uh, uh, save this to uh, Glenn's amazing bookmarking service uh, and we can go and put it in Pinterest or something like that. So yeah, the, the content state specification provides the patterns to do all these things so that viewers can implement them, clients can implement them, other software can implement them. So let's go on to some demos of this that are real demos. I'm going to see if can, Regis, can you can you take over the screen? If yes, I, thanks, Tom. I'll try to share it right now. Screen. There. All right. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So what uh, we currently have uh, with respect to uh, the content state API is uh, um, rather basic. So I will be very brief. Um, so first we have a very basic implementation of content state uh, within the Biblisima portal uh, in production. So currently this, this is no more than a draggable IIIF logo as you can see uh, in this uh, search result uh, page. And And here you have uh, illuminated folio with the IIIF logo uh, that has an encoded uh, IIIF content, set, content state that you can see in the URL uh, below. And uh, this content state annotation includes, the, includes uh, the reference to a canvas in a particular manifest. And you have the same uh, IIIF logo with the same content state on the, uh, the item page itself uh, yeah. Uh, we uh, also have a Mirador 3 instance, which supports a few basic uh, content state API feature, uh, features. Uh, first, triple uh, IF content parameter, where you can pass uh, either a manifest URL like this one, for instance. Here you can see the triple IF content uh, parameter where I can pass a manifest URL or even a collection URL instead like this. And I have the Mirador 3 that can initialize itself uh, accordingly. Um, I can also pass uh, with the, in this parameter uh, content, an encoded uh, content state annotation. Uh, like this, uh, this one. So this is, um, I'm going to paste the entire uh, base64 URL string. 
And here I can uh, initialize a Mirador uh, in a multi-up uh, interface uh, because the target uh, of the annotation is a list and it could be a set of manifest or a set of canvases within manifest. So you have the, this example with the different portraits of, of uh, Van Gogh here. And I can also uh, drag and drop uh, IIIF resources within this, um, this Mirador instance. So let's do this. So I can drag and drop this first logo here. And this second one from the search results page into Mirador and have the two up uh, window. And a few final words uh, about our future plans. So for now, we, we still have in the BBCMA portal this uh, Mirador 2 uh, workspace uh, where you can save your viewing session and share it uh, with the URL. So you have this, uh, this URL here that uh, uh, save the entire workspace, the objects uh, being loaded and the different uh, arrangement of windows. And, uh, and of course, what, what we would like to do is to replace, to replace that with the Mirador 3 instance, aware of the content state API, and thus fully rely on the content state API to, to store the, those viewing sessions. Uh, instead of the custom uh, Mirador 2 session uh, that we are using uh, here. So that's it for me. So I can stop sharing. Cool. Holly, can you can you do your demo? This is uh, yeah. Durham. Let me share my. Oh, I can share my screen. Can you um, click something so I can share my screen? Well, Meg, could you uh, enable Ollie's? Um, let me see here. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I thought I did. Um... Okay, that should work. Sorry about that. Yeah. Can you share it now? Yes. Excellent. Uh... So let's go here first. Hi, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Ollie from Durham University in, uh, in the UK. And uh, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of Mirror, two, uh, Mirror 3 plug plugins. Uh, one is to create the content state objects that we've been kind of seeing uh, here. And the other one is very similar to what Regis was just showing to kind of read it as well. Uh, so if we first look at this, uh, plugin that lets you create the content state objects. Uh, I have a manifest here and say I want to focus on uh, this bit of text here. Uh, click the share button at top and then you can just uh, drag a region around the area you want to uh, focus on. Uh, we have a few different kind of sharing options here. This is still a bit of a work in progress and we're not quite sure uh, which ones would be the most useful ways of sharing. So we got HTML and Markdown here. Uh, we're not gonna look at those now, uh, but I'll just show you, you can get the cropped image easily. So if you wanted to save this or uh, just use the URL uh, to put this in your uh, uh, WordPress block or whatever, then you can do that. Uh, and then we have the content state. So I can copy the content state um, encoded object to clipboard by just clicking that. And if I go to a different Mirror 3 Weaver, I can uh, uh, paste the content in here then, and it'll uh, open it in Mirror 3 uh, with the kind of uh, region I selected uh, annotated as well. Um, we also kind of intended to make it zoom in on the region. It's just not quite working yet. So these are both a bit of work in progress. Um, but uh, the code is online uh, and the URLs on the, on the slide there. And uh, if you have any questions, then uh, just post them on uh, Hoover or uh, find me on Triple F Slack.
Cool. Uh, I'm going to finish off with a quick video from Matt. If you want to stop sharing, I'll, I'll re reshare. Uh, and hopefully you can. Hi, I'm Matt from, Matt from Pigeonati, and I'm going to talk very quickly today about how you could build a generic IIIF based search and discovery environment using IIIF change discovery and IIIF content state. So we're currently working on a platform for a client who are working with Middle Eastern and Indian manuscripts. And we decided to approach this by building a generic search discovery platform first, using standard APIs for getting content in and out, and then to layer on top for them any bespoke features that they would need for their content. So what I'm showing you today is a generic uh, search discovery environment that uses IIIF for everything uh, throughout. So you can see here we've got various uh, objects that have been ingested in here. I can filter these in the usual way. So maybe I want to just see things that are Arabic or Persian. And I'm going to refine the search here. I can see a list of things. I can click through and view one of these items on its own. And hopefully you can see here that in the URL, we have uh, some base 64 encoded data, which hopefully you will have seen already as part of Tom Crane's introduction earlier. If I click this into a base 64 decoder, you can see that this is an entirely standard uh, content state uh, representation of this manifest. So we're calling Mirador using content state to get to this viewing experience. But we can also do the same thing for multiple objects. So maybe I want to pin two or three items in a kind of comparison basket that I can see here. I can view these, maybe I'll view them as thumbnails. So I can see the three things that I might want to view in my comparison. If I click compare, what will happen now is it will load all three up in an instance of Mirador. And again, in the URL here, we have a nice long base 64 encoded content state, which I can decode. And hopefully you can see here that we've just got three manifests uh, being loaded into the viewer. So everything about this is entirely uh, standards driven. If you copy this link using the button here, paste it into a new tab, you'll load up the same discovery environment with the same three objects open in exactly the same way. And you could share this with someone else via social media, email, bookmark it, anything you might want to do. We're also using standards entirely for the process of getting data in. So if I go here and look at my list of scheduled tasks on the back end, there are two sync change discovery stream processes working. And these are uh, registered change discovery streams. We have one here for the bottling that's been taken from the IIIF registry and it's being synced every 60 minutes. And any content that comes in from the bottling will be automatically added to this discovery environment. And we could index as many of these streams as we would like. But not only is it using uh, change discovery to get data in, it also exposes a change discovery endpoint on the way out. So I have streams here for all activity, for any storage of IIIF, and for any indexing by search. So I can click through to one of these pages and see all of the events here when um, objects were created, updated, deleted, and so on. So this stuff can be used to bring content in from other institutions, but then when it's been enriched with new data as part of this portal, it can be exposed again for further in, uh, indexing and aggregation through change discovery. Thank you very much. I do hope you could all hear that. I, mean, I wasn't just spending three minutes in silence there. It was a bit quiet, but we could hear it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and yeah, that that's it really. That's uh, that's our update um, for the discovery. Uh, I think we're at time, aren't we? So this is just check the Q and A. Uh, are there links to these contest examples? Yes, look, that's been answered. I think Glenn posted them uh, in the chat there. Uh, and we will share the slides as well uh, after this. And if you want to, um, if you, anyone wants to ask any questions or anything like that, there's always uh, past, past the session time, there is always the Whova platform. So you can send direct messages to people or if you want to start a discussion topic. Um, I see there's a ton of stuff going on in there too. So that is always an option. Okay. All right. Thanks everyone so much. Uh, Thanks, we will see you on the next call. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, all. Thank you, everyone.